Good evening and welcome to tonight's upload. My name's Emma, subscribe for hauls and vlogs. It's Saturday. I've been up since about six o'clock. In fact, dead on six, both of the children woke up with no alarm or anything. It was weird. And then we just hung out in the bed like cool dudes. I've just had the most... My new couch has come from my office. I'm not going to lie, guys. I nearly had a small cry. I just want to sit on a couch in a room away from my family all day. But I'm not going to because that'd be a bit mean. I'm waiting for some slutters. I'm waiting for some shutters to come. Um, and they take ages. And then I'll do a tour. I want to do a full tour. I love my new house. Like, moving house was one of the hardest, most stressful, turmoil things. And I think from the very minute we put an offer in on house to the very minute I left, well, you saw, or if you haven't saw, I'll leave below. Um, I was just a mess. But now, after a month, I just feel so happy. So if any of you are thinking about moving in or worried, don't be. Do it. It's good. Right, we're going to do a come shop with me today because we're going to go and... Um, we're going to go to HomeSense. My husband never, never wants to go to HomeSense. But we need some big pictures for the living room and I, I can't commit to making that kind of purchase on my own because I buy something and then it'll be like a giant headshot of a Westie being stroked by Gary Barlow and my husband will like Meh. so I'm gonna make the bed get in the shower and then we're gonna go 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 yeah I have got a towel on before I forget to tell you did you any of you see I was in the Daily Mirror online this week bizarrely I will link below the article I shan't talk about it because it was a bit rude um I'm not doing anything saucy. It's not like a shakara. Emma's like some da 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 da. But I'll leave that below. But that was funny. You'll read it and you will lol. And you'll be like, only Emma could be in the newspaper for something quite so ridiculous. So, as you know, I've been doing some talents for America's Got Talent for True TV. I've done some singing. I've done some um, ventriloquism. They wanted me to get Lucy. And, and you know Lucy's notoriously terrible at doing anything to count so i'm going to show her this i'm going to show her that and then she's going to count and bar times let's see how we get on you ready she didn't care does she bark how how, how many is in here what is on here could you bark count it do something. Here, come on, dance, dance. Bark, 11, count. Do, do some counting. So, I'm, I'm not entirely sure Lucy smashed that. If you wanna see good acting dogs, go and watch True TV on Tuesday. They've got America's Got Talent. This one here will not be doing any counting, but she gives the very best cuddles. For those of you who don't live in the UK, this is what British Summer looks like. It has been quite nice weather. Stephen's still committed to the shorts, which God bless him. I've gone full raincoat, it's absolutely tipping it down. I so don't we... have any long sleeves. Emma doesn't have long sleeves on. Stop the press! Mum puts daughter in short sleeve t-shirt, call the police! I uh, long sleeves. Yeah, you both got coats on though, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. We are off to Home Sense at Merry Hill. I like to call it Merry Hill. Um, Anybody lives in the Midlands? Do you know of any other home senses? Please let me know. Um, so we can go to a different one. If you haven't been to a home sense, go to one as soon as humanly possible because it is one of life's most wondrous shops. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, so that's where we're going now. In Zrechen. It's half nine. We have done a hell of a lot this morning. Shopping been delivered. Couch been delivered. Dress washed out. Yes. We've come. We've come to the next sale this is very exciting the home one mm. <laughs> it's gonna have a little look around and i'll show you stuff i've got when i get back already attracted to the pom-poms immediately we have gone <laughs> what are you doing? we've gone a bit crazy next home sale at merry hell for the win get off that oh that was good we sent spent sent spent i can't even speak i'm so excited <laughs> we spent 77 pound i think we probably would have been about do you reckon about 160 quid? Maybe even more. I'll show you some of the stuff when I get home. Or maybe I'll do a proper haul. I don't know. I'm hysterical. I'm hysterical. We're trying to buy art and Stephen just says, I like this, like kryptonite. And we're just not very happy. I bloody 
love this mirror though. I think I might get this mirror. I absolutely love it. Oh, Steve, what about this mirror? Look. Steven. Oh, the gift is ignoring me. Oh, we bought some good blooming stuff. So I am actually going to do something very unusual. I'm gonna literally film a haul now because I wanna put all the stuff away. So I'm gonna put down this film haul which will be up in on Sunday. And you've got a few days to wait. And it's gonna be next sale haul, next sale home haul, next home sale haul, mouthful, home sense, and some of the bits and bobs. Oh we spent quite a bit of money, but still we got like bargains. So that's good. Right, I'm gonna go and film it now. I feel a bit plain for the internet, but do you know what? That's fine. Six o'clock, so I've put my pajamas on. I'm lying, it's two o'clock, so I've put my pajamas on. <gasps> but we don't have to leave the house again, and there's nothing more glorious than not having to leave your house and put the pajamas on. So I'm gonna spend the afternoon watching, maybe catch up on Love, on Love Island. Maybe watching a bit of YouTube. I'm trying to not do so much blog on vlog work at the weekend because it's sending me a bit do So I'm going to try and relax because next weekend I'm away in Hindu. Following weekend I'm away at Bestival. Following weekend I'm away at the Isle of Wight. So I'm just going to chill. Chilling at Max and relaxing all cool and shooting some beer with Bats at our school. Leave in the comments if you know what television programme that's for. Anybody ever fall on a into like a YouTube black hole where you start watching one video and then you're like why am I watching this? I've fallen into like Paul Logan and his brother and they're like 22 and they're really like <laughs> Stephen and Ethan and they're really annoying but I've fallen into a hole of watching them they're just bizarre creatures who are so far removed from my life but I really 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 need to turn YouTube off, but I just it makes me just so happy. I just spent the most frustrating 15 minutes looking for a crab toy that was that big in my son's room. But I bloody found it. Oof. You know, sometimes you feel like you're winning at being a mum. I found that crab and I was like, look, I was gonna sing The Lion King again then, but you know, we don't. Oh, God. Oh, and a sunny eye. Like I was holding up the baby Simba and I was like, I found your crab and he was like, Meh. didn't even say thanks. Anyway, I am going to watch Love Island, obviously, because that seems to be how I spend all my time at the moment. And I will see you tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I'm a bit sad we're not going to home since again, even though we fought in there, because I had such a pleasant time. Right, see you in the morning, guys. Night. Good morning. We have been up since five o'clock. Does somebody have a nightmare? <laughs> so, and also, I'm going to call him Tom. Tom Spot. Don't know what we're going to do today. Little Miss has got some in. Wherever she's gone. There we go. And I think we might be going to see Nanny Joy, so we might go and do some stuff. Don't know. So, that's very vague. You, right now, you know as much as I know right now about what we're going to do. Erin is playing loads more in her bedroom because so we used to have a playroom in the old house. Which, the guinea pig's like, Mah! which is fine, but then you get like little corners in the room over there, can you see? The, where she's got like little strange games set up. And what I need to know, a really strange request, do you just leave the little games set up? Like there's another station over there as well. Or do you tidy them up? Or do you make them tidy them up? Or do you leave it for a week and then go, you've had this game out now for a week, let's put it away. Let me know. I don't want to stifle the creativity, but also don't want to trip over Shopkins when I'm trying to change the sheets. So let me know. I'm not used to the ways of like children, like toddlers and babies, fine, but children and little imagination games, I don't know what to do. Thank you very much. I've gone for quite a lot of blusher and highlighter. A stripy shirt and leggings. It's a little bit rainy outside at the yeah. moment, but it's not like it's a horrible crap, awkward. And that rain, you know, when you step out, it's like a sheen, a sheen. So we're going to go. It's now 10 o'clock. This morning has been so busy again. So what happened? Because you go at five o'clock, you want your lunch at like 10. So we're going to go and see 
nan and then i think we're gonna go and have some lunch somewhere but i'm not really sure where so that is the plan stan i might check up chat about my wardrobe when i get back and explain how it's working i think that face is an expression to say that it's not really to do it to do it to do it right i got my mind set on you set on you Right, we've left Dan's nurse to see so, her. So, my dad and my sister. We're going to go off to have some grub now, a little bit hungry. I have really have overdone the highlighter. I mean, it's a bold look, isn't it? I am. It's we're about five. It got to half eleven. I'm absolutely like ravenous. Flipping next day, I'm absolutely ravenous. So, I can't wait for some grub. Come to my prize if you love the five got so Sometimes like 40 quid, but I have gone for a decaf diet coke cherry vanilla. I go for decaf diet coke orange. Decaf diet coke orange. But they're not allowed diet coke, but they can have decaf diet coke because that's why I like the five five. Yeah. Five guys, you have to draw a picture to put on the board, and Ethan's drawn one with boobies. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be putting that up. Eh? Interesting composition. Round Birmingham at the moment, you can do the big sleuth, so you can go all round Birmingham and find little bears, and you get codes. It's very good, isn't it? Yeah. We've done quite a lot already, yeah. so we're gonna go and try and find some more. It's a nice thing to do. You you get like an app. Oh, hang on, there's another one here. Oh, it's a very pretty one. It's a Japanese bear. Yeah, it is. I drove all night to get to you. Is that alright? <laughs> I drove all night. You're a bit rude. Is that alright? A few of you have asked me to chat about my wardrobe and how it's working for me. So here is the wardrobe with Panama Kangas. All the colours don't match. Don't judge me. But if you're going to get the thin hangers, I advise you do because you get loads on. Anyway, so in the wardrobe we've got like t-shirts and long sleeve tops, day dresses, skirts, um, nicer day dresses, and then going out dresses, which is hilarious because I never go out. <sighs> and the plan is that for every season now, talking seasons like some sort of fashion expert, I am going to have only the clothes out that I plan to wear for that season. So when it gets to autumn, probably, apart from like the going out dresses, like 75% of that will be folded up and put away. I mean, some of them, like I suppose the stripy tops I'll probably wear a bit in the autumn as well. Um, so far, I really enjoy it. That autumn over there holds all my woolly jumpers. So woolly jumpers, and then I've got a few kind of wintry items in I'm gonna say Ziploc bags, that's not what I mean, but you know what I mean. The one where you use the vacuum, you suck all the air out of, and they are over there in the creepy cupboard where the ghosts live. Uh, I do, I like it. I like having all my clothes out. It does mean that I don't panic so much and like have to like go through loads of outfits. Um, However, I have seemed to have bought, uh, the plan was just to wear what I've got, but I have seemed to have bought quite a few little dresses and stuff recently. Especially I bought some from Joni, I bought a couple from Peacocks the other day, in the style. Uh, but, so far, I like having out the clothes that I just plan to wear. It's not a bad thing. Um, I will come back to you in the autumn and let you know how it goes and what I swapped over. I actually think there might be a couple of things that, because I don't wear them at all, that I might donate to charity or just get rid of because they're really old. Uh, but yes, I'm enjoying it. I'm talking all the time thinking that I must get my roots done. And again, I know I've said it for four times, but I mean, there's a lot of highlighter on, isn't there? I'm not sure about it. Well, have you ever seen a sexier woman? I just had a bath and I'm covering my spots in pseudocam. It works if you've got some. Um, I had a face mask, not a facelift. Yeah, I had a facelift. It went wrong, guys. <laughs> I had a face mask. And I am going to sign off for the evening now. I'm going to go and have 
some dinner with the kids or tears we call it in Birmingham and this will be the last vlog until vlogust vlogust starts because I mentioned in the last vlog that I'm going to a Hendy next weekend so I'm not going to film because people controversially don't want themselves on the internet when they're a little bit tipsy especially as quite a few of them are teachers so I'm going to have there'll be a vlog tonight when you watch it now Wednesday following Wednesday there won't be and then it's going to vlog us to kicking off with best of all from the Isle of Wight and then all other sorts of adventures it's very exciting so I will speak to you very soon enjoy your evening and if you've managed to get to the end of this video leave in the comments yay for vloggers